Welcome back to the channel, welcome back explorers. My name's Jack, you join me here today as I'm jumping back into some more NASCAR. I am really starting to enjoy the season. Again, I'm not crazy up to date with all of the rules and regulations as we know, but that is what it is, I'm still learning. The racing itself has been so much fun. I, I, I know not everyone's happy with it, but you can't please everyone. <laughs> I'm going to be getting into this. It's the COTA. I have no idea what that is. I'm excited. It's short tempers, crucial pit stops at COTA. I am loving the interaction that I'm getting with NASCAR fans. So if you haven't already and you are new around here, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It lets YouTube know I'm doing something you enjoy. If you're old around here, welcome back explorers. If you have already told me your favorite driver, you don't have to do it again. But if you haven't, let me know who your favorite driver is and let me know a driver you can't stand, you know? If you have told me your drivers, let me know your favorite track. How about that one? And other than that, join me, won't you, as we now delve in to the highlights of NASCAR COTA. And the Echo Park Automotive Grand Prix is underway. And they are off. Whoa, whoa, this is a very different track. Wait, 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 wait. Instantly I got goosebumps there because my in my I realized there was a hairpin. I don't ever pause if you've watched before. I rarely pause. This track is already going to be very, very interesting. Oh, oh, some of those boys have already run wide. Fifth instead of the lead. Third, fourth, fifth. Reddick wasting no time going after William Byron. Well, we knew Tyler Reddick would be tough here, and you heard him talk about his mistakes in qualifying and how they were able to rebound on, on hot tires, and that tells me he has a lot of confidence in how fast his car is. This track is incredible. And William Byron's going to have something to say about this. This is a NASCAR track. <laughs> that hot rod, and that will be no different today. And he here will we get go. These guys fits. There you see all the dirt in turn eight. That's oh, this, this is incredible. incredible. You see, probably see some cars spin out there because of all that dirt on the racetrack. Down into turn number 11, the hairpin that leads onto the longest straightaway. Somewhat of a passing zone as you see Chastain looking inside free wide to Denny. He's gonna pass two of them. Yes, LaJoy. You know LaJoy's what? Having trouble. I I'll take back everything I say. Fifth, fifth place. Oh, oh right. bit of this. scrapping. Seeing NASCAR cars go around oh, tighter tracks. Of... Corey LaJoy really hard, so not sure what happened there, but we'll figure <laughs> it's it out. It's an incredible <laughs> view. Contact back there. Bubba's still having trouble back there, and you heard me say he's yet to finish. A... Again, very sorry to pause. I'm I'm blown away at this. This. If anyone ever talks about NASCAR drivers only turning left, show them any race from C Cota, COTA. I'm a minute 30 in and I am just blown away <laughs> at the amount of turns already. I'm excited to see who wins this one. The race here at Cota, the woes continue for Bubba Wallace here. Remember, no out of bounds on this area of the okay, course. Okay, Cota. Everywhere okay. The S's turns three to six. Yeah, this infield section right here is so technical. You got to put the car in the right spot. Easy to spin the back tires. Not a lot of. Not really this is insane. In there, but I don't anticipate with this cloud cover seeing much fall off today. See, Even what I love about this section. We already see the stars lining up for the Toyotas. Is that They're some one, NASCAR three, drivers three, four, five, have cut their teeth in other racing? So this is nothing so new is to them. The I'd love to know He's how. They're here to play Pure NASCAR racers feel about these kind of tracks. Because if all you ever do are the oval races and stuff like that, how challenging is it for a pure NASCAR racer to do these kind of tracks? Nice onboard view. <laughs> this is bloody incredible. And the sound of NASCARs, man. 
the one that they had at the Le Mans, the sound of it compared to the other cars was just monstrous. I've also done a video on that. Go find it somewhere. I might put a link. You never know. <laughs> oh! So they all pitted, coming to two laps to go. So a legal stop as uh, the pit road would close. Oh, oh man. Whoa, whoa, Big whoa. Lock up from Ty Gibbs out of the pits on cold tires right there. It's really rough on the inside of the racetrack right what there. What happened there? And I think he went in there too far. And as he came over one of those bumps, the front tires locked up. Yeah, that was massive. Man. That's not what so you want. Bell Did you come, come out? To get the green and white checkered flag to end stage number one. And Asper Bell is in the lead. The track under the green flag until the tenth place car comes to the line. Currently, that's Ross Chastain. Very nice. Seconds back of the race that's leader because of their stops. 42 green seconds for Christopher Bell. Second stage win this year for Bell. And his first yeah, we got to tighten that up a little bit. The America. Here they come. White line, start of the restart. Here we go, stage zone. two. Let's go. Bell is on it. McDowell right with them. And how will they fan out as they come to the top of the hill? Out of curiosity, what Toyota does Bell drive? Because when I did my driving test in America, I did it in a Toyota Corolla. Might have even been a Camry. I can't remember. But as I'm looking at it, I'm like, that looks like the car I did my American driving test in. <laughs> Here they come. Dive bomb city. Look at Byron looking to the inside. So far, so good for Christopher Bell and McDowell holding t uh, steady on those old tires. Byron and Bell top the list for Xfinity fastest lap. Well, this will be, as you see, William Byron go to the inside of Christopher Bell, and I was getting ready to say this will be the toughest section for um, Christopher Bell to, to kind of manage those back tires and the wheel spin compared to those new tires of William Byron and the guys behind him. It's crazy how wide Everyone they're taking some of the turns. One pit stop except they're using every Bell inch of that track. Oh, they are battling, aren't they? Contact between Brad Keselowski and uh, Bubba Wallace. Here's a look. Let's have a little look at the Keselowski Wallace. Oh, you see Brad locking it up. Knew he was yeah, in trouble. Yeah, left yeah, yeah. Round it went. Yeah, and that, you, you saw Bubba have to check up a little bit and in that stadium section where they he were. He was not happy. A really wide arc, but it opens you up to get T-boned like that from where uh, Brad's angle was coming from. Yeah. But Kyle Larson has spun. Well, it was off the front bumper of Christopher Bell, but it looks to me like Kyle missed a little bit, slipped up, locked the brakes up, whatever, got a little bit high, tried Ooh, to hold it down. Bell was that there, intentional? In the back, Let me out. know. I like this. I love he the onboard views. I always have. Whoa. Road. Good thing we weren't going faster there, boys. Was just finishing up in his go. Whoa. Whoa. Kobayashi and Stenhouse. Well, we got quite the kerfuffle right there. Quite what? the what? What'd you say? <laughs>
vertical rise to turn one. 140, 34 foot rise. That's. Oh no! We got luggage. Get it, get it, get it. Get angry, get angry and get back up there. Get angry and get back up there. Number 24, let's go. Mistakes, what I'm trying to say. <laughs> got into the corner too deep, shot up the racetrack with a wheel lock up. Rest is history. Chastain to the point. Well, now we're going to see what William Byron's car has. William Byron's car has because he has not been in traffic all day. So now he's going to have to figure out how to get back by these two guys, or is it going to slow him down as much as it has everybody else as yeah. Tyler Reddick tries to go on the inside. There's a good Byron's bit of racing going on here. Turn, turn nine. Not that there isn't usually, but like there's a good bit of. Like well, so chasing today, down happening there. Had a caution for cause. Oh man! Only the two stage breaks. That's going to be big trouble for Chase Elliott. It looked like he went all the way off the racetrack right there. He got in trouble in turn three, and in turn four he had to shoot all Again, the way to the right. Again, excuse my ignorance. A NASCAR car chassis. The reason I bring that up is through the S chassis. Did you say America? Are they so or where you get stiff? Because as well, you see him going totally into turns, nine. the cars are more just, yeah, the, the whole car, car right is taking the turn rather than the car turning, if that makes sense. And just wound up like they're the all taking super wide because I mean, they know they can't turn tight. Is that because of the right chassis? Him, is there something special that about a NASCAR chassis like that makes it harder to turn? Six or eight inches up off the ground, and that's exactly what happened to Chase Elliott right there as well. Running fifth, huge setback for the nine car. And moments ago, Christopher Bell. More crashes. Oh, Kyle Busch. Not clear. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> this, there has not been a caution for cause on the racetrack today. Yeah, because no real good. Yellow flags. Uh, track workers will put out a blue advisory flag if someone spins in an area. Uh, but that is just a warning to oncoming drivers. It is not a yellow. The only yellows we have are full course yellows. We already saw Ty Gibbs. Probably wish he would have. I kind of like that. I like the now. blue flags over the yellows. I think he's going to get the job done. Move him out. If they know that the, 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 the racers are capable of getting the race back on track, the why stop the whole thing? The well, you said this earlier, Clint. When Ty Gibbs had the opportunity to, to clear uh, Ross Chastain, you need to make it happen when you're when you think you can. Crossover, Chastain. Oh! Bottom to top. You see what I mean? It just don't seem to really turn. Not yesterday when SVG did. Maybe I'm wrong. To the car right behind these two, Ty Gibbs going into turn one. These guys all pay attention to stuff like that. Cause that that lap is more important than anything. Here we go. Maybe I'm just seeing it wrong. Maybe they turn fine and it's a trick of my eye. Team told him do exactly what the 24 does. If he pits pit with it, stop, stop, stop. Stay out there. Right now, Ross said the rear tires are just burning up. Let's go, 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 let's go. William Byron has made any adjustments to his race car today. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Also told him we're gonna have to wait a couple more seconds. Get out. Let's pack it full of fuel. Make sure we make it to the end as he. Yeah, you. I'd rather be heavy and full of fuel, knowing I'm gonna make it. Yeah, the Chevys pitted, the Toyota stayed out. So Gibbs, Reddick, and hats off to the pit crews. Jesus Christ, they get that done. And here is Bowman coming down the straightaway, who has already made his stop. Go 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 go! Without a doubt, that was the play. And he does. Yes, he does. Now. yes, sir. It worked. Good move by them. White flag waving. One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Did I see Van Gisbergen? SVG is he racing here? He is. He He's not doing here. very well. <laughs> this is a weird one. All the drivers that usually are like up leading the packs. Sure Ooh, no dirt. Thirty That'd seconds be behind. Process here. Look at Crazy. Bob, tossing that car through the corners. Sliding Those as chicanes flying around him. He's got it down to 1.2 seconds. <laughs> He's chasing. He's chasing hard. Up in the curves. There's Go on, Bell. You're actually chasing him down. I'll second. give you that. He's really pushing it. Oh, this is a good race for the front. But it's done. It's done. You ain't catching him with half a lap. It's done. There ain't going to be no photo finish here. <laughs> well done, Byron, if he wins. 
never slipped the wheel. Kevin hit all of his marks all day long. Boys were good in the pits. Well, he showed that speed in qualifying, and he carried that over yeah. right to the very first lap of this race. He's using he every inch of the track as well. They were, they've executed on pit road all day. He's executed on the racetrack, and they have put themselves in position to close this race out with a win. Christopher Bell got to within six tenths of a second. Oh. Breaking for turn 12. That's got to be heartbreaking. So oh, it's a Camry. <laughs> it is the car I did my testing. <laughs> As a couple of corners to go. It's pretty much been a Hendrick Motorsports and Gibbs competition so far in 2024. Hendrick was so solid the first two. Gibbs showed up the last two. Hendrick back on top today. I give it to Byron. Good win. Byron down the front straight away to the checker. What a great course. Well, career win in the NASCAR Cup Series. Yes, sir. Woo -hoo. Great day by those guys. Excellent. I've got to admit, that is probably one of the best, best, best tracks I've ever seen in NASCAR. On my very limited knowledge of it, bearing in mind. What a track. Oh. Oh. Let me know if your driver won. Let me know. If your driver was screwed over in some way, <laughs> let me know what to do next. Other than that, have a great day. Be well and bye-bye.